M3 Industries. Does that mean we're going to do Mythbuster? No, it's Morgan's Massive Motors. Never mind. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Chappers. Welcome to your Farm Simulator 17 Mod Spotlight. First real Mod Spotlight. I mean, the first two were Mod Spotlights, but they weren't real Mod Spotlights. Now we're going to do some real Mod Spotlight. Yes, I fixed the FOV. Sorry about that. I fixed it, and it was working in a save game. And then when I went into that, it was at like 90. And I was like, w but I didn't notice it until it was too late. And I feel like we're recording it. Anyway, let's start. <clears throat> this is going to be a relatively quick one. Relatively, because it's really about scripts. Because there's a lot of scripts already coming out. I had an, another script on the list, but it, it, it doesn't work. So, well, that one ain't here. Let's start with one. Now, this one... You can get in the mod hub. You're going to have to go in the beta to get to this. Okay, so if I go to this vehicle, aha, <laughs> this vehicle here, and I approach it, notice I have it now Z. Repair Case IH 1660 Axial Flow costs $14,648. Now, we talked in my quick look about how the depreciation of your machine or the damage to your machine over time caused the cost, the daily cost, to go up. Well, now we have, with this script, a way to press Z, and we have repaired our tractor. So if I were to, let's um, go here really quick. Uh, let me get to my vehicles. Let's go to um, my New Holland. So here's my New Holland here. So my New Holland, I've been using it for 53 days. It's costing $569 a day to own that thing. And we're looking at an $18,000 run cost on that thing. So remember that, everybody. $569, $18,371. So we're going to run over here. I'm going to repair it for $7,620. Now we're going to go back in here. Look at that. Plummets to 221 a day and 54,000. So a huge increase in our value. So I can now go through here and I can repair all my equipment to keep it in tip top shape. And then I don't have to worry about rebuying equipment. Really nice. Again, this is, uh, I've given you a link. It's also uh, in the mod hub in beta. You'll have to go find it in the beta. It's a big long list. So there's that script. I like that script. It's a good script. We're going this way really quick through the trains, through that thing, back here. Hey, how about that? That was quick. Um, next mod script is called the Price Watch script. Now, something very important about this, it's actually in the comment, the very first comment at Mod Hoster where I link you. You need to rename the zip file. If you don't, it won't work. But if I hold down Shift T, it's going to list all. I'm going to look down here so that it actually is against something dark. Uh, it lists all the things I have available to sell. So if you don't have it to sell, it will not list here. But if you have it, it will list here. And green means the price is going up over time. Now, if I hold down Left Shift Z, I can move it around my screen so I can have it wherever I want it. Really nice, lets you keep a really quick look at what's going on. Because there's as crops increase, as number of crops increase, you're you're gonna really want to be able to focus and say, okay, now's the time to go sell, I don't know, soybean for 874 at Denton Bakery. There you go. That's that script. All right, the next script uh hi truck. Let's go backwards. Nope, forwards. There. Aha! All right, now this one came over from 15. Okay, a lot of stuff is coming over from 15. So you're going to see stuff here that, that, that came over from 15. Just get over it. All right, this is called the biogas extension. So it used to be you'd come here, you'd fill this up, you'd shovel it in, and yay, we keep going. Well, now that doesn't happen. The biogas extension, you have to pay to get the biogas facility started. Yes. If I approach here... To get it up at its normal size, I'm going to have to outlay $240,000 just to start this factory at its normal size. Now, you'll notice if I say page up. Ah, look at that. We just keep on rolling. 
Yeah, if I want a lot of plant size, 300%, so three times normal plant size, I'm gonna outlay over a million dollars to get that plant up. Now I can go the opposite direction now. Notice it's too large for manure bonus. When we go down below 100%, we'll get that back. I can also go down, so I can go down to a 50% sized plant. Now what does this mean? That means that its production is going to be affected. Now, when you go to the link I've given you, he ha the mod author has given a huge explanation. I wish they'd put that as a readme in the mod, make it easier, but there you go. Once you buy it, the plant starts up and then you be can become, you can begin using it. So I was like, oh, let me start this up. Okay, now I can play with my feed rates. So now I'm gonna say, oh, let's, let's up those feed rates or I can decrease my feed rates, whatever I need to do. You'll notice I've got solids in my feed bunker, solids in my fermenter, fill level for my manure bonus, power production, bunker levels. So it's a lot of data really extends the biogas from a simple just money habit. I had that in Farm Sim 13. I, I don't know, uh, the Appalachia map, I think, was nothing but silage all the time. Uh, it really stops that behavior because you're going to have to outlay huge capital to start your plant up. And then you got to... I left a beacon on. Uh, you you have to outlay um, time on top of that. All right. Let's uh, go back to... Yeah. There we go. All right. So those are the three scripts. The price watch, which I think is a, a huge... that That's a huge thing to have just as a quick informational... Uh, piece there the uh, the biogas extension at really extends the game and what it what it's all about you got to pay to play really and then repair vehicles which lets you keep your vehicles in tip top shape so you can uh, avoid paying those really high daily costs now let's actually buy something how's that sound for a change First thing, it's actually a new category. It's called handwork. So when I open that up, we've got the lizard truck. In fact, the lizard truck is parked next to me, but it's converted into a mod. So it carries uh, fertilizer, seeds, pig food. You can have just the truck. We've got a loader to fill our bags. And then we have a couple of trailers that we can use to load objects. And the idea behind this is let's just buy pig food, for instance. Um, no, actually, let's buy a pickup. Uh, yes, that's fine. Thank you. Should have made it a different color so I wouldn't lose it. Let's buy some pig feed. Uh, yes, let's buy some pig feed. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so now we got our pig feed. Boop. Boop. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing with that there, but I can then load up my... Uh, Load up my truck full of pig feed. Oops. <laughs> there. Uh, I can load my truck full of um, fertilizer and seeds. Uh, I can load, I can do bagging. I can, I can buy other things and strap that on. So it really allows me to extend what I do in game to more like real life where, you know, you're picking and putting stuff in the bed of your truck. Uh, R there, Aha, R. I don't know how that's gonna hold anything, but there you go. And now I've got it in the truck. In the truck, start. Woo! <laughs> Stop it. There. All right, drive better than I do. So I like that the concept, the whole idea here of, of you know, you're you're having to can I like unfasten and fasten that would stay, I wonder. Probably not. I like this idea that the fact that instead of just oh, there was a there's another thing there, and if I did that, then it would stay. How about them apples? Um <laughs> I like this this concept of okay, I've got to do this work by hand. Uh, a lot of people who who just have a base farm, you're gonna do most of your work by hand anyway, so there we go. So really, that's it for mods made that are out of the mod hub. Let me back this guy back. Up. 
Oh, look, it doesn't fall out now. <laughs> oh, well, it's sort of, sort of... Hey, shut up. There we go. All right. There's two more that are in the mod hub itself. I wanted to... I'm going to try to focus on one or two mod hub vehicles every episode. So we'll do some that you can get outside of the mod hub. And then we're going to focus on a couple that are in the mod hub. <clears throat> some, of, uh, some of these mods, these very mods that I'm describing to you now... The price watch, the biogas extension, and the handload trailers might end up in Mod Hub eventually. Can't help that future is the future. I am the past. Uh, let's look at the two vehicles I got from Mod Hub. First is a tractor. Tractor we're all familiar with. The old Kirovitz K700A. 78,000 beautiful dollars. We can finally paint it something other than that horrendous yellow color. Let's uh, let's make it a Fadman tractor, and we'll uh, let's throw some twins on there. But let's make it a oh, really. They didn't put pink in here. I was gonna make it a Stocko Gloss wheels. Well, we'll go with that color. There, bye. This is gonna be the weirdest looking. Oh, good lord, the cure of it's ever. Yeah, there we go. Oh wow. <laughs> yep, that's a cure of it's. Uh, <laughs> Right. Now, the one thing I'm going to say here is one thing I liked about Farm Sim 13, which is where the Caravitz first came out, and 15, was the twin wheels were something that you had to tote around in store if you wanted them. They came on a rack. You had to get a, a front loader out there to pick it up and move it, and you'd store the, the extra wheels until you needed them. And... I like that a lot more than um, just they're there. Old Kirovit sounds. Very Kirovit sounding. Turned out. <laughs> yeah, that is a purple people eater. It's the shaft. Ah, the drive shafts are running. So there we go. That is the, uh, ooh, purple people eater. Nom, 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 nom. Woo. All right. So that's the cure of it in the mod hub. Very purple today. Very purple day. Park. <laughs> All right. So that's the cure of it. Now, what else did I get in the mod hub, you might ask? Well, the other thing I got in the mod hub. Is the lizard road rage? We all see that. That's a Ford Mustang. Road rage is is an obvious thing if you ever been to Cars and Coffee and watch them crash their Mustangs. All right, let's make it um, not a crazy color. Let's make it red. Rims are gonna be black. Yeah, black. Uh, design triple GTs or single. <laughs> I can't read. Shush. All right, and we're gonna put that as blue. Yeah, let's buy that. Okay. Woo, look at that car. I should have left it white, but shh, be quiet. So there's our Lizard Road Rage. This is nothing more than a Ford Mustang. That's a, that's a handsome car. All right, let's, uh, let's start it. Now, the real question is, what is it? What? Oh, whoa, whoa, I just saw the top speed. <laughs> this is going to be fun. 163 kilometers an hour. Well, okay, that's not too bad. Woo! Where's my horn? Get out! <laughs> yes, just like a Ford Mustang, I've rear-ended another car. That's good. All right, so we've got ourselves a car. I wish there was a handbrake. It does slide, though. I don't see that much. How fast does it go backwards? Okay, 50 kilometers an hour backwards. That's not too bad. Don't get approach the front of a Mustang. You'll die. It's a true story. All right. So, you know, it's a fun car. It's a vehicle to have when you've uh, you've accomplished in your farm and you just want a vehicle to cruise around. You know, do donuts or go to Dunkin' Donuts and get donuts or whatever. Whoa, doggy. All right. Uh... So that is, uh, this guy is in the mod hub along with the Kirovitz. Eh. Wow. 
Um, so the Kirovitz and the Lizard Road Rage are in the mod hub. The um, the slow, it's called the slow feed or something like that. The slow feed truck, which has the the extra goodies in the back. Can I just? No, I can't. Here, here. come here. Run up. Put that. Come here. <laughs> Put that on the hood. All right, fine. Fall off the hood. I don't care too much. Go there. And. Woo. All right. Whatever. We're just gonna leave it like that. Okay. So, hmm. the uh, those are those mods plus the scripts, the price watch, the biogas, and the repair vehicles. Um, they all are looking pretty good. Something to definitely check out if you are looking to extend your game just a wee bit. Till next time. If you're at Cars and Coffee, remember, be careful of Mustangs. They will kill you! I'm standing in front of it. I'm gonna die! <laughs>